hello everyone how are you today and welcome to this channel so today's video i'll be talking about how to use the lookup wizard in microsoft access so this database is an employee database if you look watched the previous um, videos on my database you will understand how we created or how i created the employees table and hours worked table so i'm going to go ahead and create um show you how to use the lookup um, wizard which i didn't do in the other videos so what i will do is click on this table called hours worked table so in this table you would see the few types or the field names id number weeks worked and the hours worked for each employees now i'm going to go ahead and add another field name employee category so to add a field name i have to go right click on the tabs and click on the design view here is my design view i'm going to type that employee category all right employee category so in the data type field i'm gonna call this click the down arrow the data type i will be using is the lookup wizard so i click on that so this dialog box comes out and what this simply is asking me is do you want to this first one is I want to look up field to get the values from another table or query so that if i choose this by default it comes like this so if i choose this it means i want to get the lookup values from another table if it's in if this particular field is in another table that i have here then i can go with this but i don't have this field i want to create a new one so i'm going to click on i will type in the values that i want okay so here i'm going to type in the values that i want the first one will be salaried salaried and here is ali and the next one i'm going to call it tempora tempora temporarily all right so this is what i want i don't want to add more can think of anything so i'm gonna click on the um, next button and here this button's here the first one okay what label would you like for your lookup value okay this is the field name that i gave it initially when i started m category so that is what i want i'm gonna leave it at that do you want to limit entries to this um, choices so what this simply means is if i choose the limit to list it will prevent users from entering a value that is not in this list all right so i'm gonna click on that because i don't want users to key in more values for me if i choose the second box it will allow users to choose more entries or more values in this particular field so i'll just let it be like that and click on the finish button so that is it and it's a, it's a short test so I'm going to go to the field properties and change the field size to be field size. I can make it 40. All right. So my field size there is 40. Once I'm done and that's exactly what I want, I will go ahead, click on the save, um, the tables tab, save, and then go to my data sheet view. So you would see here that I have a new field name there called employees category so i'm going to widen this by double clicking at that edge so here this particular employees id number if i click here i can then choose you will see a drop down menu all right so that is my lookup with what i just created now i can choose if this particular employee is a salaried a salary worker or early um early paid or a temporary worker so here i can just choose um salaried and this one i can call it early all right so that's how to work with the lookup wizard so users can just key in information or when users are filling up forms they can just click 
and choose the list or the uh, the list of um data that is stored in the form i hope you do like this video don't forget to hit that like button i will see you in the next video